they change the history of our planet. They cause the evolution of the planet and they continue to do so. Throughout evolution, bacteria have proved to be amazingly adaptable and able to exist virtually anywhere. And for thousands of years, we've benefited from their ability to decompose minerals. This remarkable place is Rio Tinto in southwest Spain. But the environment here is so hostile that I might as well be walking on Mars. In this pilot plant in Madrid, researchers have developed a method to reduce bioleaching times. It's now possible for the first time to extract zinc and lead, even from low-grade concentrates. And the processes that used to take several days now only take a few hours. Heap leaching processes are difficult to control and take quite a long time. Although bioleaching is a relatively new approach in Europe, the new plant at Talvivara are expecting good results. The bacteria laden leaching fluid trickles down through the heap. When oxygen is pumped in, the process begins. The bacteria start eating the ore and the metals are leached into the fluid. As the process continues, the conditions in the heap begin to change. Bioleaching methods are already applied in many parts of the world. Full-scale production plants are in use in China, in Australia and countries in South America. And there's also one here, in Kasese, in southwestern Uganda. As in Rio Tinto and Talvivara, active bacteria exist naturally in the mining waste. In the leaching tanks, however, the aim is to get them to work faster and more effectively. They have to be fed and oxygenated and they have to be kept in good ambient conditions and as soon as they get a little bit unhappy they let you know immediately. Facing dwindling resources, the companies will also have to keep an open mind when it comes to finding new ways of meeting future demands. We might not need to open new mines just to uh, manage the ones that we have in a proper way and then recycle all the metals that we are using. 